So I'm back here with a DVD update, and uh, yeah, it's just a short little video I'm doing. Uh, I won't be really, I won't really have much time to do much videos now because I'm really on exams right now, and that's it's uh, yeah, that takes main priority of everything. It's it's exams, and uh, but the thing is, I finish on um on well, yeah, ne near the end of November, so. Yeah, that uh, after after that, you know, uh, I can just school's out for the year, so I can just do do any videos I like. But without further ado, this is DVD update. Now, um, it's actually a little different because I actually had some uh, VHS tapes here, embarrassingly enough, uh, which I bought from a fear, you know, just uh, so, some like uh, fears, church fears, school fears, whatever, and uh, yeah, and I bought I bought a few, and well, okay, I, I bought one, like, that's definitely not enough to base a DVD update on, in fact, that's probably the line in the title as well, because it's not a DVD update, is it? It's, no, I need some DVDs, I need at least one DVD, and just, you know, add that in as a side note. Uh, but then the other day, we bought two DVDs, so, uh, right here I have, uh, yeah, I bought one VHS tape, but then, uh, there's also another fear where I bought another VHS tape, so, I've got two VHS tapes and two DVDs here for you. So, uh, yeah, so, let's start off with, uh, you know, it's just from what I bought first, first to last, and, you know, uh, I can't believe I'm saying this. I can't believe I'm saying this. A videotape. A video. But, first off, Spider-Man 2. Um, now, the thing with uh, Spider-Man 2 is I haven't actually seen this since it first came out, like, uh, 2002, was it? No, uh, 2004, 2004. 2002 is when the first one came out. <laughs> Sorry, my mistake. Uh, now, uh, yeah, I haven't seen it since it first came out, and I remember seeing it in the cinema, and I didn't actually get to see it around till quite late after, and, uh, now the thing is, people say Spider-Man 2 is better than first, now that's really what actually grabbed me to buy this, and it was cheap as well, it was only 50 cents, uh, <laughs> so honestly, uh, I, I just bought it, and it's, it's, the main thing is people would say it's better than the first. And the first one, I love the first one. It's my, it's my favourite superhero movie of all time. In fact, it's, it's just one of my favourite movies. In fact, it's in my top ten. And, the, I mean, I'm like, really? Can it actually be better than the first? And, well, we, we're only going to have to wait and see. I highly doubt it's going to be better than the first. Uh, just because I love the first one so much. It's in my top ten favourite movies of all time. Uh, but, you know, Spider-Man 2, I can't wait to watch it. Uh, the thing is, I haven't really managed to watch it. We had, like, I, I think the, the, the VCRs on the fritz or something. <laughs> I don't really know. But, anyway, here's the front. Uh, yeah, it's a PG, which is, uh, you know, the first one wasn't M. Uh, so maybe that's why I may not like this as much as first. I thought the first one had a perfect blend of like the quirky funniness, but also the violence as well. Uh, then the spine, back, and open it up. Was it this like unlocking? Yeah, and then VHS tape, Spider Man 2. Yeah. It's just a it's just a basic standard VHS tape. What is there really to show? Uh, I just like talking about these. Uh, next up is another so that was Spider-Man 2 50 cents. Um, next up is one I also bought a few like maybe a week or two after. I remember I bought it uh, after my mock exams. Uh, so it, it was on uh, yeah, it was a school fair. And uh, this one cost me one dollar, so that was kind of steep, but um, <coughs> for VHS anyway. And as I especially used one as well, uh, and I thought, okay, but I, I, I like this movie. I really love it. I've only watched it once, and that was um, two years ago. It would be two years ago from today, actually, because today is Halloween, and I saw it 
it's a horror movie, and I saw it uh, on the TV when it was just on as a Halloween movie, and uh, I'm, my sister didn't really want to watch it, but she watched it with me and Dad anyway, and oh my gosh, it's just, it was entertainment, I'm telling you, because, yeah, okay, it's for Shining, uh, for Shining, um, and I want to watch this tonight, actually. I'm going to try and see if I can get the VHS play up and running and watch it tonight, but I'm not sure if that's going to happen. Uh, and I just watched it with my sister, and oh, she's like, oh, Thomas, tell me when it's safe to look. I'm like, yeah, it's safe to watch, safe, safe to watch now. And, and it's just as this one guy's brutally beating this guy with an axe. It's, oh, that one, that, that's just going to... I love that memory. Um, so, The Shining, here's the front, here's the back. Front spine, then the back. Um, I've, oh, it's also got some special, yeah, I know, special features on it. Yeah, she's tape, um, Special features, the original uh, theatrical trailer, and um, uh, Vivian Kickbucks behind the scenes documentary, The Making of The Shining. And Open it up. Oh my, yeah, I don't really like this one too much. Um, yeah, I don't like the way it opens. It goes all the way to the edge. Yeah. Um, so there. Yep. That is The Shining. So those are the two VHS tapes out of the way. And now we can move on to the two DVDs, which I bought in one day. They actually... I didn't really seem to have these in the shop, actually. So, I don't know what was really happening. They just went on the display shelves, but my dad went in to ask anyway, and he got them just as um, I stayed at home studying, whatnot. And, um, and the two ones here. Um, so, uh, there are two I really wanted to buy, but, you know, I don't want to, like, get enough money first or stuff. Uh, and... First one cost me $25, and it's uh, it's kind of steep actually, $25 for this at least. But it's a double pack, so that's kind of good as well. It's two movies, double feature, double pack, and it's uh, um, a Batman, double feature, Batman Begins, and The Dark Knight. Now, uh, you're like, whoa, Thomas, Thomas, why haven't you bought this earlier? Seriously, I'm going to be honest, I don't really like these movies too much. Um, I know. Uh, it's just, okay. Batman Begins, I don't really like too much. Uh, really, it's it's just the thing is, really, it's really boring for most of it, actually. I ju it just does not keep my interest. I'm like, seriously, it's just really long and drawn out, and it's, it's just boring. And, it's, it's, seriously, and I remember once when I was on the TV, I'm like, okay, I'm going to watch this second time, because I was young when I saw it the first time, maybe I'm going to like it now, because people like it. Uh, but, I just thought, oh my gosh, so it's boring, I'm just like, I, was, I think I did get up to just stop watching it, but then it got interesting. Uh, see, it's boring, but then it has a climax, it almost makes up for it. So, it's a movie really requires patience. Uh, so, uh, it's Batman Begins and The Dark Knight. It's, oh, actually, it says here, The Dark Knight and Batman Begins. It's, it's actually like telling you that's a way to watch this double feature. Dark Knight first, then Batman Begins? Really? Like, and it's seriously telling you that. The Dark Knight, Batman Begins. Uh, the Dark Knight, Batman Begins. Even open it up. The Dark Knight, Batman Begins. Uh, so I've watched this now. Uh, I watched it as a double feature. I got some friends over and we watched them both back to back. But no, we watched Batman Begins first and then The Dark Knight because I'm a smart lad. Uh, so, um, actually, I'm going to have to say the DVD of Batman Begins is really good because, like, Every DVD is going to be just that one moment in it where it's just going to have that awkward pause, you know? That awkward little, you know, shaky little pause where it's just like, okay, you know, this is kind of awkward, but it's for least one second. But it's just, you know, it's noticeable and it's a little awkward. But 
Batman Begins doesn't have that on here. We watch it. There's not even one moment where it has that. None at all. And like, that's, that's impressive, okay? And uh, The Dark Knight, I, I think I noticed one or two. I, I think I did, but you know, every DVD has that, you know, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not judging. Uh, it's a great movie. So, Batman Begins, I don't, I'm not sure where if I would give that, but uh, The Dark Knight, I think that is overrated, you know, it's still a great movie, but, you know, seriously, no, I'd give it a four and a half, it was like seven, I think, yeah, maybe my sixth or seventh favourite movie of 2008, and, yeah, but yeah, you've got, uh, but yeah, you've got the two discs in here, Dark Knight, Batman Begins, and there's, it's, it's just a double feature, that's all it is, it's just a double feature of the movies, uh, the only special feature you have on here is on Batman Begins, and that's for theatrical trailer, it, no special features, it's just a double feature movie, and it's just there so I can, uh, you know, watch for two when Dark Knight Rises comes out next year, and next up is, uh, a DVD, another DVD, yeah, of course a DVD, um, one I really do like, it's an R16, but, well, you know, I am 16, uh, but, um, you know, I watched it a little underage, it's because uh, I watched it on, uh, like, um, no, early 2010, it was on the plane when I went, when I was coming back from America for, uh, like, a Christmas slash New Year's trip to see family and stuff, so, uh, it's Zombieland, uh, and unintentionally, I've been doing some Halloween watching, actually. I've been watching The Exorcist, watching Zombieland, Zombieland. I was going to watch Fright Night. It was going to be an advanced screening of Fright Night, but I didn't get to go see that. And I'm going to watch Shining tonight, hopefully. Uh, so Zombieland. Um, uh, this one's got some real good special features. Uh, I'm not sure how much this cost. Was it $12, $13? I'm not too sure. I, it was same for a seat, but, you know... I'll, ju I'll just, I'll put it down the info below how much it cost. Um, uh, my mouth's getting dry. Uh, so, special features are deleted scenes, um, commentaries with actors and directors and writers, um, behind the scenes, um, zombie land is your land for zombification of the United States, Visual effects, progression scenes, and um, some trailers. Uh, so I open it up. Ugh. This is one of the tough ones to open. Um, it's got a smell. Um, but a new smell. I like the smell. Uh, so then you got the disc here, Zombieland. And I've watched that, and it's, uh, it's, it's really good. Uh, it's still good a second time even when you're not so tired on the plane, and, uh, so good, yeah, I'm, I'm really happy with all these buys, um, especially, uh, Spider-Man 2, only 50 cents, I don't really, no, for 50 cents, I don't even care if I don't watch it, uh, seriously, no, there's this one place on my bookshelf, it's just, um, it's where books really wanted to fall over and knock off, so, uh, you know, a little item off the end, no, you know, for 50 cents, it's even worth it just to slide that in there, no, just pop it in there, so, to stop stuff from falling over, and that's, for 50 cents, it's just worth it to st stop stuff from falling off on my bookshelf, so, that's good, you know? So, uh, before I stop this, well, I was going really over time, Spider-Man 2, VHS, The Shining, VHS, Batman Begins with a Dark Knight, DVD, Zombieland, DVD. Um, so yeah, those are all my DVDs, and so yeah, um, I should be watching the show tonight, but yeah. Alright, so goodbye.